my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3, the Blood and Wine DLC. In our last video, we did some side questing and exploration, and in today's video, it's going to be a little bit more of the same, and hopefully we can wrap up the last little bit that I have here and then make some gear and go back to main questing, but that's still a lot to do. <laughs> but as I was running over towards the next question mark that I want to work on, I have a new fast travel point called the Arthur. Thack Palace Ruins, and it says the experimental attempts to manage the waters of the Sans Retour Marsh carried out by the Duke, by Duke Adam of Nazaire did not prove very successful, to put it lightly. Yeah, it's still kind of marshy, but maybe that's what he meant to do. Anyway, they flooded a great number of villages, private estates, and even Arthak and Elven Summer Palace. Oh, these experiments were what gave the Sans Retour Marsh its current shape and put half of Crane Isle permanently underwater. They also created an unpleasant bog to the north of the city where none can tread in true safety. Yeah. Isn't the prison down here somewhere though? Yeah, this maybe it's a different prison. Maybe there's multiple prisons, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, we are close to the next question mark, so let's go and do that and see what happens. I'm gonna guess bandits, because that's been what's been going on lately. Come on, Nancy's. Uh, let's put on some hanged man venom. Ugh. Lots of guys with big maces. Maybe? There we go. Yeah? <laughs> this guy just shooting arrows at me, breaking my... I think you might be the last one left, sir. Pucker up! Did I give you the hiccups? Oh no, I chopped you in half. <laughs> I shouldn't mock the people I'm killing. It doesn't seem very nice, but oh well. <laughs> Maybe we can loot. I've got a couple sets of Witcher gear I still gotta make, and then go off and do, see how much money I have left to see if I can go and do the, what was it, the, like the enchanter guy? If I have enough money left, who knows? <laughs> it might, it's entirely possible, right? So Van de Gilder's journal diagram to Saint Night Boots. And a bunch of bunch of good things. So Van de Gilder's journal. The, this haunts is mighty odd. All these grizzled men with hard eyes, lads with hundreds of murderers under their belts, and near half of them sit around all evening scribbling in a journal or writing letters. Where did all these blasted scholars come from? My lord managed to beat letters into my head before I seduced his daughter and he chased me off. But someone like Sylvain Blacktooth, how he mastered the art of writing while traveling with a circus and sweeping dung from the cages. That's a a very good point. Anyway, uh, just lately I was sitting guard with three of the lads and instead of sipping on wine, farting into fire, normal stuff, they all sat there quietly jotting things into their notebooks. What really scares me is that maybe Starling Stragon likes the company of literates of this sort and I'm going to have to start a journal myself. Yeah, well you did. You had to start a journal. Is that really? That's oh No, there's a little bit more. There's a wee bit more. There we go. Hmm. Okay, well that was relatively easy. So let's head over to this question mark and then we'll go do the haunts, which is where I need to go for my last, I think, night for hire quest. And then also the next step in the Grandmaster feeling. It's not the last one because the last one I, I already found. Well, I'm assuming it's the last one because Step two was to go here. I'm assuming there's going to be at least a step three. Hopefully not step four. But who knows? So is this the prison that was mostly underwater? Oh. Um, water hag. That's right. Oh, a white. Oh, and a place of power. Contemplating life and other things. Or 
or is it just because I'm standing in water? It's a little confusing. Place of power. Should draw from it. We should draw from it. What's it going to give us, though? I mean, an ability point, obviously. <laughs> and I think it's Axie? Yearden. Well, I'm not very good at guessing. All right, is that the last one? I think that's the last one. Okay, well, let's run down here-ish. And then we'll do a save, because... You know, I'm not going to get the guy who's going to set the torch ablaze and they're all going to swarm me at once, which means I could potentially die, but um, <laughs> I could potentially do okay this time. I did survive the last time that happened, so it's it's possible, but those question marks went rather easy. That was, that was a nice change. Okay, let's save, and we're going to get rid of our green marker. Maybe. There we go. Bandit Camp Delaunay wrote about. Gotta be. Haunt's base. Okay. Let's put on some more Hangman's Venom. Quick save again and see how this goes. Oh, there's the torch guy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm not gonna get him. My composure is gone. You ruined it. Yeah. Why is it taking? Oh, I have I have the wrong sword out. That's why. <laughs> like, why is none of this working very well? Yeah, there's gonna be more coming. Like everybody, all the bandits left in Booklair are gonna come. Back up, back up, back up. So many red dots on my screen. Actually, there's really not. The other one was way worse. Not bad. Ah, I lost my stacks. You maggot, come to sleep. Hold off us at once! Well, they're not all coming at once. I'm not really sure why. You're all waiting your turn, which is very nice of you. <laughs> again, I lost my stacks again. Stupid bandit. Spells! Disgusting spells! Look up! That's us! That is you guys. And you guys like to take notes. Bad puppy. Doing okay so far. Ooh, that is not good. Let's, let's finish cleaning up these guys. You need your quite on. Come on, girl. <laughs> I love it when I get one shot of it's so awesome. <laughs> oh no, my sword's gonna break. <laughs> Wait, pause, please pause. I need to repair my sword, please. <laughs> Because I've been killing so many bandits. And bad doggies. Uh, we okay? We survived? That was nice. Okay, now we're going to spend an hour looting. Well, that, that, um, torchbearer did, did okay. Let's see. And there's a body here. What's the... Oh, that was the... Oh, yeah, see, he lit the torch. Duh. It's right in front of my face. Hmm. I 
I hear beasties over there. <laughs> the, the silly like water egg kind of sound. You know, a smart person would strategically use these explosive barrels. But I, not being a smart person, did not. Okay. Oh gosh. There's lots of looting to go on over there. Um, so this must be the Elven Ruins Palace that was destroyed slashed underwater. Chicken sandwiches, which apparently don't give me my health back very well. Ugh, now I'm on onions? I can't. I can't be on onions. That's just disgusting. I'm sorry, Geralt. I, I did not mean to make you eat onions. Um, here, let's eat some raspberries. We've got a million of those. Onions. Ugh. I don't like onions, in case you didn't pick up on it. <laughs> um, do I hear more bad doggies over there? We gotta make some witcher gear, so I need to have as much money as possible. Okay, let's get on some hangman's venom, even though it won't do much against the dog. But I imagine... <laughs> It will help when it comes to the doggo's masters. Okay. I'm smacking on an empty stomach. I got my Oh look! My like one percent chance to set him on fire. <laughs> this shall drag on too long. Well, I certainly hope not. I have, I have big plans for today. Oh, did you see that dodge? <laughs> totally accidental. <laughs> I do that. Oh, oh no. Oh, dang. My bad. Got too greedy. Loop here, okay. Hmm. Whoa. This crane's moving around really fast for some reason. Oh. It's probably not, but explore the ruins of okay, I need to actually let's um get this on first. Oh, Huh. Where might he, he be? Okay, that's where they went to light the torch. Let's look at the chest over here. Ooh, Hans Leader's Notes, Grandmaster Feline Trousers, Grandmaster Feline Boots. Perfect. So it all went off without a hitch. Bartholomew Delone proved a Ponzi fool, just like I thought. Witcher fell right into our trap too. Put too much stock in his skills, thought he could handle anything. What are you trying to say, game? <laughs> At first we acted like bored thugs, just picking our noses and waiting for our pay. When Delone and the Witcher finally came to terms the Witcher let slip, he was hiding the rest of the diagrams in the pits of Bruma which I've already been to. Dangerous place, that, but maybe we'll find some safe route to the Witcher's cache. One bolt from the Black took care of Delane, expected more trouble from the Witcher, so we hit him with a couple good things, too, because he still had a good heap of a life in him, though we couldn't even get up off his belly. I let the lads check just how much pain it, oh, a Witcher can stomach you. Well, you're awful people, in case I didn't already know. They'd earned a bit of recreation after the fine job they'd done. Then we grabbed the coin of Delaney's and soon were off to the pits of broom to get those precious diagrams and sell for all we, and sell for all we can. Witcher and armor, know that shit luck. Pits of broom. Hmm. Strange name for a series of caverns. Should investigate. Mm -hmm. Wonder if the bandits got the treasure out of the cave. They didn't. We've, we've already been there. But I need to figure out how to... Oh, there's a ladder. Maybe it'll go better this time around, because the last time I had to fight one of these bandit captains, I could not get the ladders to work for some reason. Okay, we've saved. Let's get out the right sword. Let's put on some more hanged man's venom. Okay. 
Antoine. Oh, dinkily. No! Come lure him! Shit. Wow. They're not very difficult. Like, at all. That was... I have auto scaling on. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. I mean, the loot was harder to pick up than this guy. Okay, there's the chest. Nothing exciting there. Maybe here. Antoine Starling Dragon's Notes. Tucson Knight's Steel Sword. Tucson Ducal Guard's Captain Gauntlets. Okay. So taking the Silver Salamander in did a lot to relieve the tense atmosphere. Things had already relaxed a bit in the swamps because a good number of our men went off on assignment. But our haunts is so bum-hugging huge. The ruins of Palace Arthax still look like a bleeding bazaar. A man can't even empty his bowels in privacy. To top it all off, my bones ache to high heavens from this humidity, and even wenches can't warm me up properly. Oh, is the poor bad guy unhappy? Poor you. So I need to look around for something and fast before the good mood from the last raid fades. Completely and folk get ornery. This time we need to hit something big. Thinking more and more about the vineyard to the south, Coronada. It'll do perfectly. Worth sending some scouts, maybe start planning a big job. Oh, I need to straighten out something with the lads. Every other one of them, one of them's hit upon the idea of scribbling down memoirs regular bloody bunch of literati should take to practicing sword player hunting instead of becoming diarist i keep a log that's enough for the whole lot of us i'll whip one or two of the harlot's broods wipe my derriere with their diaries and maybe the rest will get down to some honest banditry i mean god forbid two turquoise armor die that's interesting i know i'm trying to finish my looting before i get too far over where it's going to make me turn the quest in. There's one more thing over here. And there's another thing over there. <laughs> I'm like avoiding the center. Nope. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, nothing happened. Well, that's, again, very anticlimactic. Maybe I have to come down here. There we go. The Hansa's reign of terror has ended, and Night for Hire is complete-ish. Go collect my pay, go see the Dugo Camerlango, Cam Camerlango, there, there's the right word, about your reward for fulfilling the contracts. I heard you brought the hammer down on four fingers' heads. I, I did. I brought him down on all of the Hansa's. Well, well. Starling Strakenoff, House Palm Titled Harlitzbrut, has bit the dust. <laughs> May he rest in pain and agony. You've earned yourself a steep price cut here, Witcher. Great. A guy named Stragon ran across him already? Stragon. Name's familiar. Ran into him a while back. What's this? He must have been a horrible hound shacker. Decent folk don't bear that name. Can't say if that's true for all the dragons, but this one sure wasn't decent. Met a bad end, too. Justly so. You carved up the knob copper. I knew it! Druids did it for me, actually. Burned him alive. Oh, lovely. Lovely. I don't remember this. If it's in the books, I don't know it, and that's fine. But I don't remember this out of the game either. Well, I'm going to empty my bags for a smidgen, so I will be right back. Behold, Geralt the Witcher. 
the scourge of Starlink's dragon and his hats. Bravo, you old bomb batch. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, that is done over here. So let's get back onto my last treasure hunt. Goodness gracious, I've had so many treasure hunts. Well, let's see, my next spot that I need to go to is all the way back down there. Hmm, and I still have the monster den to, to sort out. I'm assuming that once I collect the Witcher stuff, I know, I keep going back to my map because I want to get to the fast travel point. Uh, I'm assuming once I collect my Witcher gear and stuff, the monster den will be marked as complete as well because I killed all the rest of the monsters. Oh, look, there's a cook. Hello, cook. Leaping Lepiota's heels. I failed to order more lamb and red. What might I pour for you? Oh, really? That's it? Oh, well, yeah, there's no merchant symbol, so I guess that is it. It's kind of like an abandoned site, only, I don't, I don't know, less interesting? No, it's, it's, it's interesting. The bandits are all gone. You guys okay back there? Okay, but well, let's fast travel to the trading post and then we'll run up from there. I know I should hop on Roach, but She's enjoying her vacation. That's what I'm going with. Oh, look, the workers are back. Uh, if I can get along from Chalfinelli. And if I were to put up my wife for surety. Well, I did take care of the uh, silver griffin basilisk thing. And that's, I don't know why I put on the green marker, but just because. So it doesn't make sense they would repopulate. I love it when it does that. I know I say it every single time, but I still love it when it does that. Okay, we are nearly there. Hmm. Let me get out my sword again, just in case. Need to look around. I do need to look around. I have no idea where it was at. I can't remember that much. Oh, there's the sparklies. I don't need the... I don't need the plants. <laughs> so, Lexandre's journal, and then feline still... Stilver, silver sword, steel sword, silver sword, and gauntlets. Hurrah! T turned every stone achievement. Nice. So the journal says, burned all my bridges, no returning possible, not after I committed murder and took those Grandmaster diagrams, probably already on my tail. Hope to finish the deal quick and start a new life in the South. My time as a witcher is over. Can't trust Delaunay, especially since he insisted we meet in a bandit's den. Hit the diagrams in a cave which no ordinary man will be able to enter. If everything goes smooth, I'll collect my coin, tell him the cash is in the pits of broom, then offer to escort him there for an additional fee. Ooh, sneaky. So, so school of the cat, right? <laughs> if it doesn't go smoothly and someone finds these notes, know this. It was worth it, worth killing my own, worth stealing, worth anything to escape from a miserable life on the path. Yeah. The witchers felt it. The urge to drop it all and ride off into the sunset. This one decided to act on the urge. Costs be damned. Diagrams have a sad history, but I'll make good use of them. We will make good use of them. Okay, so let's put away this. And look for my last Witcher gear quest. So it says, while searching for diagrams that would let him craft Grandmaster level gear from the school of the cat, Geralt happened on the trail of a tale that looked to be headed towards a tragic ending. The adventure began with a Witcher's afternoon visit to the estate of a certain armorer and concluded in a cave known as the Pits of Broom. <laughs> or Brum, maybe? I'm probably saying it wrong, but it doesn't matter. Where diagrams had patiently waited long years for one who, who would find them. As it so happens, this finder proved to be Geralt. Along the way, the story had featured characters plagued by greed, ambition unfulfilled, and the longing for freedom and change. Alas, the Witcher alone proved fortunate in this tale, for he finally found what he had set out to seek. All. Oh. Well, let's see, I have a to-do list. There we go, that's completed. I have a to-do list, and I was going to head back to the Witch Crag 
witch of the crags caves the caves underneath the witch crags house that sort of makes sense um but i think i'm gonna put that off to my next playthrough is it still not done hold on a moment this monster's den is still not done hmm apparently we did not explore every nook and cranny But as I was saying, I was going to do that, but I'm going to put that off to my replay because I got to save some stuff, right? Because I need to make an alternative decision and I'm hoping that the thing that I missed will pop up in the alternative decision when it comes to her because clearly I made a horrible one because <laughs> I did save the lady stuck in the tree and I would like to save the lady stuck in the tree the next time around. Um, we're also probably not going to finish collect them all because I have the book still somewhere, I think. Um, I've had it like forever, but I feel like in the next, my next playthrough, I will be doing, here it is. So it'll be more um, number of cards, which can still be won from players of no particular renown or skill is 19. I'm not sure where to go for that, but I'm sure I can find a list or something somewhere, or it'll tell me when I, flag it as active but as i was saying i, I imagine my next playthrough is going to be more um more gwent and less exploration on camera as it were because i've in theory done all the exploring there it is up there hmm. there we go come on up we go ah Love letter signed by Bella de Guinness. My cherished friend, Gustav and I yearn to thank you for our last rendezvous. At the very thought of another, I burst with rapturous joy. Can you believe two people previously unknown to one another could become so close so quickly? You ask if there's anything I prize most dearly. Well, Gustav, I have always had a fondness for flowers. My tragically deceased fight. This lady, is this, this lady's come up at least once before maybe twice before, like Black Widow. I feel like that was a Black Widow quest, <laughs> but my tragically deceased fiance, not finding any, I was saying it wrong, would gather them for me in the pits of room. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I'd ever seen Blooms more fair. Ah, the very thought that you too would go to such lengths and pick me a bouquet with your own strong hands. It makes my heart skip a beat. If you were to bring me those blooms, it would prove you truly love me. Yours for Ella, Bella, Bella de Guinness. I feel like that name's gotta mean something. Monster Den is done. Sweet, I finished. So yeah, I figure I'll get the, whatever I missed with the Witch's Crag and finish up that Gwent quest um, my next playthrough. I'm not, I'm not gonna stress out about it too much. So what we are gonna go do, if I can find my way out of here, is head back to Beauclair and turn in Night for Hire and read a lot of those items that I still have left to read. Again, that made more sense in my head. Where is the exit? It's over here, right? Yes, here's the exit. And then I figure once Night for Hire is turned in, I can make my Witcher gear and then I'll probably meet you back at Corvo Bianco so we can finish decorating my house, well, Geralt's house, and try out some new Witcher gear and make any swords that I need to make and, and finish up because after that, all we'll have is main quest stuff to do. So that's, I'd like to get all prepped for main quest today. And if there's time, then we can do some of it, start it maybe, although awkward cut. So TBD, depends on how long all this takes me because I'm slow. Okay. I need to enter my bags again. And it, the general merchant at Frankel Arts is my go-to person to empty out my bag of all kinds of knick-knack stuff. Okay, we'll go to the Grand Plus. I'm wondering how much money I'm gonna get. I have to go back to Novigrad and exchange money still. Oh, he's probably asleep by now. Maybe. It's only 9.30, he could be awake in theory, right? He wants me to go. Ah, this way. I was like through the wall. That doesn't make any sort of sense. 
And we're back. All is in order. All is in order, except for the vampires that are invading. Just putting it out there. Just saying. Okay, let's save in case I screw something up. Fingle sticks. These numbers don't add up the way I'd like. Okay, I've got so many things to read now. I should not be excited about this as I am. So, Camerlingo's report on Sucker to a Knight Errant in Distress, number 43 of 1271, maybe? So, report on Knight Errant, Errant, Errant Tree activities in the Duchy of Toussaint. As per Ministry, Tremblay's decree numbered, etc., etc., each and every Knight Errant erring within the Duchy of Toussaint's borders it was required to offer immediate and unconditional aid to any companions in distress. By the power of said decree, each Knight thus rendering aid will be rewarded according as per the following, a renumeration of the Heron type in the case of aid in battle against one human opponent or of the crane type in the case of aid in battle against more than one human opponent or non-human opponent to be paid from the funds of the knight errant receiving aid within one fiscal month above mentioned crane type remuneration has been awarded to the witcher Geralt of Rivia who lent assistance to Sir Michael Zavako Sir Zavako was traversing the area near Fox Hollow in relation to a vow which he had sworn and which required him to rid said village of a pestilence of the Van de Gilder sort relating to the criminal organization of one Loth Halfbreed. While provi providing assistance, Sir Zavako and the Witcher eradicated several of Loth, Loth Halfbreed's henchmen pursuant to her illustrious grace's order on March 24th, 1264 on the protection of the borderlands. The standard pay for the completion of such task was lowered by 2.5% to take into account the tax on which the on the use of foul words and immediate payment in the species. While apparently if you use naughty words, you get less money. So Camerlingo's report on the liberation of Fox Hollow. That was a while ago. <laughs> the village of Fox Hollow, one of the larger settlements within the Gorgon Foothills administrative unit, is henceforth deemed fit for public use, having been cleansed of all the Van de Gilders, colloquial term for criminals plying the plunder trade, through the armed intervention of a resident of Rivia named Geralt, a monster exterminator by trade. All indications suggest the deceased were associated with the Hans, colloquial term for the type of criminal organization sometimes called Avandegild, led by a certain Loth half-breed which had been conducting operations of a looting and pillaging nature in the area. The standard reward for the completion of such task was paid immediately and in species. It was kind, not really, no. It wasn't paid immediately. I'm going to get paid now. Sakamalingro's so report on the liquidation of Filibert Fourfingers Hunts. I, I, I did do this. I mean, I'm okay with it. So the day of this writing saw the end of a criminal enforcement activities directed against one Philbert von Witten, his crest, uh, his crest, maybe his crest rook, better known as Philbert Fourfingers. The above mentioned criminal was wanted for a broad range of murders and other unlawful deeds, including the massacre at Castle Dacia Vineyard, which he committed in co-malfeasance with his outlaw organization, Henceforth Hunt. So when I was editing the video, I totally got all the gladiator, the movie gladiator, references maximus something something i will have my vengeance in this life or the next maximus you, you, i can't be the only one who's seen the movie but anyway <laughs> this haunt had for some time occupied the ruins of the castle atop mont crane using said real estate as their base of operations they conducted numerous plunderous raids on merchants traders and other such mercantile expeditions extending in fact to any individuals displaying signs of carrying material goods of any worth on their persons. The proceeding directed against said Filbert Fourfingers, wanted by writ of law in Belhaven, Matina and Nazaire, were brought to a close by the witcher known as Geralt, who, acting on behalf of her illustrious grace, conducted a summary field execution of the criminal and all his subordinates. The standard pay for the completion of such tasks was lowered by 30% to take into account resort fees and immediate payment in species. So Camerlengo's report on the liberation of the Cotterin estate. 
don't, I don't remember this one. By decision of the Ducal Camerlingo, full and unfettered access to the Cutter and Manor and administrative unit in Sans Retour Valley has now been restored. Said manor had previously been declared a site of, haz site of hazardous to the health and or life of all who visit. On request of the brother-in-law of its current owners, a certain Monsieur Edward de Mouton, his crest a fox cub. Uh, above mentioned designation was based on reports of a monstrous presence on the lands of said estate inferred to be due to a lurking oh the leshen one okay as a result of the professional intervention of the witcher known as Geralt, the danger has been vanquished and the monster deemed a spriggan witcher three classification relict <laughs> the extermination was carried out using a legally registered silver sword Standard pay for the completion of such tasks was lowered by 21% to take into account tribute exacted for sustenance of mutilated veterans and payment made immediately in species. I think three more it looks like. <laughs> but I love these. I love reading all these. So anyway, Camerlingo's report on the liquidation of Antoine Stragon's haunts, the one we did today. Oops. No, no, no. Okay. So report. Okay, we read that. So the night... Or, sorry, the day of this writing <laughs> saw the end of criminal enforcement activities directed against one Antoine Stragon, alias Starling. The above-mentioned criminal was wanted for a broad range of murders and other unlawful deeds, including the massacre at the Silver Salamander Inn, which he committed in co-malfeasance with his outlaw organization, Henceforth Haunts. This Haunts had for some time occupied the ruins of Arthak palace using said real estate as their base of operation they conducted numerous plunderous raids on merchants traders and other such mercantile expeditions extending in fact whoa lost my spot extending in fact to any individuals displaying signs of carrying material goods of any worth on their persons the proceedings directed against said Antoine Stragon, wanted by writ of law and Matina, Gezo and Nazaire were brought to a close by the witcher uh, known as Geralt, who, acting on behalf of her illustrious grace, conducted a summary field execution of the criminal and all his subordinates. The standard pay for completion of such tasks was lowered by 40% to take into account the tax on unsyndicated butchers and immediate payment in species. And next we have the Comerlingo's report on the liberation of the Silver Salamander, which we did ages ago, I feel like. So the Silver Salamander Inn and adjacent lands of an agricultural manorial nature are henceforth deemed fit for public use, having been cleansed of all Vandegilders, colloquial term for criminals plying the plunder trade, though the armed or through the armed intervention of a resident of Rivia named Gerald, a monster exterminator, exterminator by trade. All indications suggest the deceased were associated with the Hunts, colloquial term for the type of criminal organization sometimes called the Vandegild, led by a certain Antoine Stragon, which had been conducting operations of a looting and pillaging nature in the area. The standard reward for the completion of such a task was paid immediately and in species. In consideration of the great social benefit of this act, the inn's owner being a citizen of Nilfgaard, no tax was charged for this service. Well, that's nice change. And finally, Camerlingo's report on the liberation of Villa Vedette. Carry the two. Don't remember this one either. <laughs> Villa Vedette and its adjacent lands of the viticultural nature are henceforth deemed fit for public use, having been cleansed of all the Van de Gilder's colloquial term for the criminals plying the plunder trade. Through the armed intervention of a resident of Rivia named Geralt, a monster exterminator by trade. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but... I kind of can't get out of the rhythm of reading it very well, <laughs> like I am right now. But anyway, <laughs> all indications suggest the deceased were associated with the Hans, colloquial term for Vandegild, etc., led by a certain Antoine Stragon, which had been conducting operations of a looting and pillaging nature in the area. The standard reward for the completion of such task was paid immediately and in species, etc. Oh, and no tax for this one either. Well, that was nice. And that's the last one to read, so let's turn it in to the camera lingo. Greetings, Knight. Much is said in Beauclair of your bravery and dedication. Thus, your security claim to compensation. A sign here, please. Well, as I was drinking water, not wine, just water. <laughs> so farewell, I suppose. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. 
and I'm level 50. Fickle sticks, these numbers don't add up. I received new item. What new item did I receive? I don't think it's the gauntlets. What else could I have received? Ooh. A trophy. Bonus experience for monsters and humans and non-humans. And then bonus gold. What does this one give me else bonus to? Chance of dismember. I do like dismembering things. <laughs> and find additional herbs. Hmm. I wonder what, I'll have to see what the difference is on Roach. But let's find the Night for Hire quest. And it says Geralt completed all the contracts the Camerlingo had to offer him. The reward he received was was not quite what he had expected true, but valuable all the same. Geralt came across an altogether typical looking notice. Someone was looking for help of the knights or other strongmen. He concluded he met the above stated requirements and set up for the knights dorm. Okay, that was completely out of order because this first two sentences should have been at the end. But anyway, I have lots of money now, so I don't remember how much I got, but it was a lot. I was distracted by the fact that I hit level 50. That's amazing. Okay, well, I am going to go and spend some time at the Grand Master's uh, Smithy and have some items made, but I have to actually go back to my, I have to go back to Corvo Bianco and pick up the the master ones so that I can make them into Grand Master or something like that. I, I forget, but I have to go collect because I have to do the Griffin gear, no and I may need to update the Griffin gear from whatever wherever I left it. <laughs> but I have to pick up the Griffin gear and the feline gear, and then I can go make a Grandmaster. And then I'll probably meet you back again at Corvo. He's still out here singing to nobody. And there's a vampire. Anyway, I will meet you back at Corvo Bianco once I've made all of my new gear, and we can look at it together. And here we are back at Corvo Bianco and I have spent quality time making two full sets of Grandmaster Witcher gear and a sword, oddly enough, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So first things first, let's look at my probably least favorite, the Griffin armor. So let's start with the, let's do the boots first. Okay, let's, can I just like take that off? Okay, we'll just... Sorry, girl. We're just gonna disrobe you a little bit. Okay, it's still. I still don't like that color. I know I can change it, but I still. I don't know. It's kind of a turn off. But let's see. Griffin trousers. Okay, and we have Griffin gloves. Okay, and then last but not least, Griffin armor. Hmm. I still don't like it. I feel like it still cuts him across the middle in a funny way that makes him look a little. A little pudgy. Plus, I feel like he. Need, I feel like he needs a helmet or something with this one. But I do like all the metal bits and everything that they added to it. It does look very nice. So let's go back to our. A yeah, he looks of, very we could use gold and here. shiny. Again, I know I can change the color, but I just don't like the way that it looks. It's definitely my least favorite. It's not bad. Like you know, it, it'll it'll get the job done. I'm sure. What's the bonuses on these? Stamina regeneration is increased by five. Okay, and what was the Ursine gear? Damage dealt by abilities involving the <laughs> Gwenzine increased by 200%. Well, I mean, that's a reason to like get the Ursine swords on, I guess, but uh, probably not gonna happen. So let's disrobe Geralt again real quick and we'll put on the cat gear. Okay. Yeah, I like those boots. They're very, I like the simpleness of the cat gear a little bit. And then let's see, cat trousers. No, I did pick up the manticore because I'm probably gonna put that back on. Again, nice, simple. I don't like this little bits around the knees. It's a little, I don't know, it just seems a little poofy for no reason, but anyway. Uh, feline gauntlets, okay. And then I, I did make it, there it is. Feline, ooh, feline armor. Well, there's a hat to go with it. Hmm. I feel like I had something similar to this in Witcher 2. Like, uh, the gear you start the game with, I feel like that it keeps putting you in because if you import from Witcher 1, you get your nice shiny gear from the end of Witcher 1, which I kept trying to put on. But I feel like it was this, it was this style of gear, which is ironic because that's when you run into, what's his name? Letho who 
didn't survive my importing. <laughs> um, but I think I am going to wear the manticore gear. Is it any better or worse? I Manticore gear is better. I feel like I'm just going to wear the manticore gear because it's something new from uh, this game. Plus, I already put all the Quen buffs in it, <laughs> so that makes it more likely to be to be good. Where's my trousers? There we go. Finally got on the right gear. And oddly enough, I went through my um, swords that I could make thinking I was going to upgrade. I'm going to keep my Erendite on, um, but I am going to change to the Toussaint Knight's Steel Sword because my Quen intensity goes way up, which is awesome. And there's lots of crit and armor piercing, and it just seemed like, you know, it might be a good sword to have. Plus, it's Toussaint, and I, I spent all that time collecting all those miscellaneous diagrams, and I've never once used one, so I thought that might be a good idea. So I'm going to have to get runes in that one. I also, ha since I have tons of money left over, because I spent all the time making all the ingredients instead of buying them, as you guys very strongly recommended, I now have the money to go finish doing the Enchanter back in... Um, Novigrad <laughs> and we're going to do that tomorrow because I'm going to start the day probably in Novigrad and do those upgrades at that workstation and play around with that for a few minutes. Also, I need to go and exchange money, which will also help finish emptying my bags. We'll probably come back to Corvo Bianco and decorate the house a little bit, meaning, um, you know, hanging up some gear and paintings and whatnot. And then we will go on to the main quest, capture the castle. So that's my plan for tomorrow. And we'll see what actually gets done. It depends on how long I spend fiddling with Ger Geralt's gear and, and his house decorations. So anyway, <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video. Oh, mm -hmm.